Joseph Arch, organised an agricultural workers union. It spread like wildfire <coughs> from virtually nobody. Within two years, it, it had a, a, a several hundred thousand affiliates. And then it, it caused a deep amount of worry to uh, the government at the time, and then suddenly it fizzled away almost as quickly as it had begun. Largely, well, for a number of reasons, partly because the farm workers were so dispersed, partly because they were at the mercy of the landowners who could evict them from their houses and sat them for the job, and a number of other reasons. Since then, there has <coughs> never been an effective movement in Britain representing small farmers and landless workers. Until now. What? Until now. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> Jim, can I just read this out? It says, full support for the campaign for, just text it to me, for the campaign for sustainable food policy, the respect for people who work the land in all countries, and these the people of the world from the chair of Unite the Union. So, there have been, uh, a few, several attempts to start small farmers unions over the last few years, but none of them have really kicked off for one reason or another. Probably, partly because farmers are so disparate. I've had to get up at, at, at half past four in the morning, milk the cows, just to get up here. <coughs> if I was an office worker in London, it would be a lot easier. Uh, but, so, I'm quite heartened by the movement, even though we're small here, that the Land Workers Alliance could be the seed, finally, of a movement that brings what a lot of people who, who are in, in Britain are thinking, people who, I don't know why they're asking me about you to do this, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need my media training. I don't hey! <laughs>